Hi y'all, Sarah and Cody with All in a Row Gardening back again. We've got another taste test for you this evening. This is going to actually be a versus taste test. Yep. Chocolate beauty versus purple beauty. So, peppers. Bell peppers. He's not getting me on the hot this time. <laughs> so the I'll first get myself on that later. We have is going to be the chocolate beauty pepper. So it's supposed to have a mild flavor. It's got a nice deep brown chocolate color to it. And then the other one is going to be a purple beauty, which has a dark purple, almost black coloring to it. Both are supposed to be sweet bell peppers, but we're going to figure out which one we like better. Score it on a one to ten. One to ten. Where would you like to start? I'll let you pick. All right, let's start with purple. I'm just going to slice this up. It is green on the inside. It is green on the inside. And it's got a lot of seeds. Yes, it does. Thank you for cutting the membrane out this time. You're very welcome. All right, like he said, right. it's green on the inside. It's got kind of a thick wall to it. There you go. This one's purple. Purple. Nice pepper smell, too. It smells just like a bell pepper. Mm -hmm. I love cooking with peppers. I'm not a big pepper fan, but I'm the guinea pig. If he'll like it, anybody will like it. Uh, yeah, pretty much. All right. Cheers. It's got good crunch. Man. That's good. All right, y'all heard it here first. I can eat these. Somebody mark the date and time. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. Extra crunchy. That would have gone great with uh, our charcuterie the other night. <laughs> It's got a great amount of crunch to it. It's mm. nice and sweet. Juicy. But it also has that nice classic bell pepper flavor to it. I would say I'd give that probably about an 8 in my opinion. Hmm. On my scale of peppers, I'd say that's better than a standard green bell pepper. And I don't really eat red bell peppers unless they're like roasted or cooked. I don't know. I'll agree with an eight. Okay. I'd eat it again. All right. Now for the other one. This one is slightly smaller. These are a smaller variety pepper. That looks cool. This one. Hold on. Show, show, show them the inside of it. This one is chocolate colored all the way through. Actually has that nice deep brown chocolate color on the inside as well. The inside of this pepper looks really, really cool. I was expecting this one to be green too. Nope. Thank you. Smells a little bit different. It smells a little bit like grass. Almost. But it definitely doesn't look like grass. No, and it's definitely got some juice to it. It's got some nice... Yes, this one's definitely got some moisture in it. All right, here we go. Boom. Cheers. That's different. Mm -hmm. Which one's that one? This one is the chocolate beauty. It's definitely got flavor. I'm not sure I like that one as much. I'm getting a little bit of almost a sour, sour. up front. Yep. Absolutely, yes. It's the first bite sour and then... It mellows out to a sweet 
even mellow or give me another flavor. piece because mine didn't mellow out to a sweet oh wait that piece was way better okay Okay, so the first piece I had, I'd give a five. The second piece I had, I'd give an eight. But that, the, the, it's almost like the flavor's packed in the skin. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't hit as high for me, I would say, with that sour up front. Um... I'd have to give it about a six. It's not my favorite. I think that the Purple Beauty is the clear winner for me. Yeah, no doubt. Um, that's something I would eat in a salad, even though I'm not a pepper eater, except until I'm here. Um, the, what was the chocolate beauty? Mm -hmm. the one, that one, yeah, not a... That one I could see maybe going better in, in cooking in cooking something that is actually prepared like that um but yeah i it, think it's yeah. definitely the purple beauty wins out for me yeah if you're going to eat these raw and not cooked because i mean flavor comes out on a pepper when you're cooking with them but the i mean is this is a hands down winner on this one and it's not the chocolate beauty you would think so but I had two pieces of it, and they were vastly different in taste. One was sweeter, one was more sour. So I'm guessing it's probably which piece you get. Yeah. And so it would go good in cooking and stuff like that, chopped up pretty good. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'd definitely say that the Purple Beauty is the winner, like I said, for me. Yeah. Um, these mm -hmm. are... Definitely something that I'd like to do again. Um, oh, for the record, I give the Travel Beauty a six and a half. Six and a half. So I don't know if I said that. Um, I think we will definitely be doing at least the Purple Beauties again next year. Yep. Um, to have those available for sale. And, um, and would you like to tell the people how long it took for that thing to ripen? The Purple Beauty didn't take long at all. The Chocolate Beauty, it has taken a very long time to ripen. Um, that one took on the plant probably about a, two weeks from when it first got to this size to really ripen up. Um, How long from uh, seed to actual ripe fruit? I have absolutely no idea because I don't remember when that batch of Chocolate Beauties was started. February. So, several months. And it's now August. But, this is not the first Purple Beauty that we've gotten. Um, we've gotten a couple of those already, and those do ripen pretty quickly. Um, those I've been pulling off and putting in my salads. But this is the first time he's gotten to try them, and the first time that we've tried them side by side with the chocolate. So, I, I would say, if you're growing peppers, be patient. Mm -hmm. because they take a long time especially if you're these are not hot peppers but if you're growing hot peppers be patient they take time yep it's different than a tomato it's not going to be ready just like that so be patient with your peppers especially the larger ones especially with the hot ones all right well that kind of wraps up our taste test on purple beauty versus chocolate beauty purple beauty purple beauty is the clear winner for us um, you can always let us know in the comments what you think. If you've tried these peppers and you have a different opinion or if you share our opinion, we'd love to hear about it. Yep. Check us out on Facebook at All in a Row, R-O-W-E. Check us out on our website at allinarow.com. That's new. And... It is. We have a website. Like, subscribe, come back and check us out. And I'm Cody. And I'm Sarah. Y'all have a good night.